Hey guys, if this is your first time on my channel, you are most definitely welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up? What's poppin'? What's going on? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my Jell-O fries, the shortcut. Um, I work full-time, I go to school part-time, and I'm like studying all the time, so I don't have the time to be able to like make the full length type uh, long process. So I'm just gonna be walking you through my process. So you're gonna need traditional Prego sauce, um, some parboiled rice, I found that it's best with parboiled rice, and then some seasonings. As you can see, I have my whole little setup there. So I'm gonna start with the traditional sauce. Sometimes it's not fully blended, there might be some chunks of tomatoes or bell peppers in there. I um, mean, I don't like that, so I usually just put in the blender just to make sure that I have a nice, consistent, smooth um, sauce. And I'm pretty sure I used about four cups of the traditional Prego sauce. So I'm just gonna blend that to make sure that it's nice, smooth, and ready to be put in my pot. Next, I'm gonna get seven cups of water to put into the sauce that I just put in my pot. And this is because the sauce alone will not cook the rice. You also still need water to be able to boil and cook the rice. I'm also going to put a little bit of olive oil in the mixture too. As you can see, I was on my like last droplet of olive oil, so your girl was struggling to get everything out. But I definitely put olive oil in there. Now I'm going to start putting my seasonings in. Um, that's cayenne pepper. As you can see, I don't measure out my seasonings. Um, I've cooked jello fries so many times in my lifetime that I kind of already know when I'm pushing the limit for seasoning. So I kind of just eyeball it and roughly knowing how much rice I make will determine how much seasoning I put in. So I know this is a pretty big pot, so I'm gonna be making a lot of rice um, to store away. So I'm gonna put a lot more seasoning than I normally would. Um, I would be very careful with the saltier seasoning such as the Maggi, your seasoned salt or adobo. However, with oregano or parsley or um, Italian seasoning, I am a bit more generous because it won't like make my rice saltier than it needs to be. So now that I've mixed everything together, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the stove. I usually put my burner on high when I'm first boiling the, the mixture just because I want it to boil faster, to be honest with you. And once my mixture has come to a boil, it's time to put in the rice. Um, I usually put in a lot of rice, um, but I make sure it's just enough where the pot won't overfill because um, uncooked rice is a lot more, it seems smaller than the cooked rice, so like whatever you put in uncooked is actually going to rise and look a lot more. So I always try to make sure that I put enough rice that's in proportion to how much like water mixture I have because I don't want a situation where my rice is now like in a watery mess and I also don't want a situation where I didn't put enough water so I try to make sure that my rice to water ratio is a-okay. So while it's cooking, I usually will check on it periodically um, just to make sure the bottom doesn't burn. Because um, even if you put your dough up on low, the bottom still runs the risk of getting burned. So I like to check in every like maybe five to ten minutes to kind of stir and like make sure that nothing is sticking. Even though I have a non-stick pan, um, it's still subject to burn. So I just like to mix it to make sure that every every little grain of rice is getting some loving and nothing gets stuff to the bottom of the pot. Mm -hmm. 
so at this point my water is almost like uh, dried dried up or it's almost been used so I know that my jello rice is probably gonna be cooked soon um, I just use it to check in by this time I would have lowered the light a bit just because I don't want um, my rice to burn without it being cooked and roughly around this time is when I'll start stirring and you can see that there's not much water left so I can tell that I'm slowly going to be going into the steaming phase um, and if you cook rice a lot you'll know when it's cooked versus when it's not cooked the way it looks on um, its texture and you can also taste it to see if it's cooked but by this time I'm going to start stirring really taking the rice from the bottom of the pot and bringing it to the top because the bottom does cook faster than the top and I want to make sure that the bottom of my rice is not like overcooked and the top is undercooked so I usually at this point just stir and make it distri distributed. So by this time I'm going to redo that process bringing the bottom rice to the top. Um, at this point, I don't, I didn't record it, but I'm pretty sure there's almost very, very low, low fire on the rice, if any fire at all, just because now it's kind of in the steaming phase, and I'd rather just use its own heat and its own steam to kind of do the finishing cooking. So after it's steamed for about maybe five more minutes, I'll usually take it over to the other side and I'll put my pan on because at this point, technically, your jello rice is done. I personally love um, adding spinach and peas to my rice just to make me feel a bit healthier. So I usually have a little, um, I kind of, I think, sectioned out like maybe two cups of peas and like two cups of chopped up spinach and I usually just have that frying in olive oil. Um, and as that's cooking, I'll get my rice ready so that I can also put it in there. I probably will fry like maybe one to two cups of rice along with this. This is very optional and um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people actually don't put vegetables in their jello rice, but this is the only way for me to feel healthy somewhat. So yeah. An additional step I like to do when I don't add um, vegetables I will still fry my jello fry. So after it's done steaming, I take the tiniest bit of oil and I just fry it because I like my rice to have a very crisp taste. I don't like soggy rice. I don't like rice that feels too soft. So I always like frying my rice just to give it a little, little crunch. Mm, not crunch, but you know, a little crisp taste to it. So after I think it's fried for long enough, I'll just put it in a bowl. I was probably packing this for work the next day, which is why it's going in like a Tupperware, otherwise <laughs> it's going in a plate straight to my belly, but I usually just pack it up um, and I'll get a nice little piece of chicken to add for my protein. And y'all know I love chicken wings, so. Well, that's my, um, shortcut to making jello fries hopefully my nigerian card is not revoked um but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in another video